Hey everybody, Shandon here. Today we are talking with celebrity booking coach and author of The Linden Technique, my good friend Amy Linden. Uh, Amy is an accomplished actor and she's worked with countless actors helping them book roles in film and television. But I feel like we are living in a beautiful era. It is where a there's perfect era. More diversity, yes. where we're telling more stories about people that were you know, not told before and yeah, I feel like there's just, there's so much opportunity, more opportunity than there's ever than been. Than ever been. Yeah. You know, I mean, back in the day when I was a manager stuffing envelopes and having a career service and faxing pictures, it's amazing how far we've come, you know? Today, a manager, an agent, they, they click a button and then boom, it, it ends up there. They don't need like a pigeon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I had a carrier pigeon, it was like, you know, a horse and buggy, but, it wasn't but like they used that far ago. those messenger I services know, I, where it's like you go, you pick up, you drop off at all the different casting I know. offices. And actors used to be able to like drop off their picture in in a bin. Yeah. Like UDK had a bin and so that was a way for them to get to know you and this was like before the workshops even though back in the day I remember there was a place called One on One. It was the first casting director workshop that I used to go to and that was a great place to meet casting directors as well. Now it's a little harder believe it or not with all the technology it's actually harder. Yeah to, to cut through the, the... Yeah to meet anybody. Yeah to cut through the, the, the noise of it all. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. would think it would be, people would be more easily accessible, but actually they're not. Yeah. It was actually easier back in the day when you dropped off a picture. So what do you, what, uh, so how do you, how do you counter that? How do you say this is, this is a better way to cut through the noise? Well, there's a lot of different marketing strategies that you can have. I think that um, announcing everything that you're doing is important. Yeah. You know? And you know, even though like people are like, oh, don't kill a tree, I do think that postcards are still relevant. Right. Like I have many, many students that'll send a postcard and then on that particular day it lands on the desk and they get called in. Yeah, because if you're if you're emailing or if you're mailing a casting office that is constantly casting stuff, you know, your your headshot might cross their desk at just that right. Yeah, moment. I mean it's yeah. a little old fashioned, but nobody's doing it, so might as well do it. And also, guys, I just have to tell you something. What's very interesting is is do the old fashioned eight by ten, okay? Put it in an envelope and write a letter to the producer. And and believe it or not, the producer will give it to the casting director. Yeah. Because they'll be like, oh, here, take this. And the cast director doesn't know who it is. It could be their cousin. They're never, it's not like it's not qualified. And it's a good way to get in front of people. But don't write a stupid letter like, oh, I really want to be on your show. Write like an intelligent letter. Like um, pick, a, pick an actor that you think you would really match as their sister or their brother and, and, and talk about your credits and the kind. Let's say you want to be on The Walking Dead. You know, there's a lot of physicality on that show. Yeah. Does yeah, that make and, sense? And, and if you know something about the show, you can in, inform your letter with what you know, and it exactly. makes you look like, Exactly. Um, don't know, say something stupid like, oh, I'd make a great zombie, and I haven't really been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's such an interesting thought to you actually know. take the time to physically mail an 8x10 with a letter, because you're right, it's probably an anomaly to them I, at it, this point. Nobody does it anymore. And so it's just kind of like, oh, well, what do I do with this? Well, I guess I'll give it to casting. That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's not like you, you're You never know. you got to just try. Yeah. you got to just try. So when you write your letter, guys, can you write a letter like, I watch the show, I'm a big fan of the show, um, I especially love a specific storyline. Um, if you're ever looking for the, the brother or the sister of so-and-so, I think I would make a really good match to them. I've recently done a, a role similar in this feature film that has been distributed and you could probably catch it on Netflix. You know, like talk intelligently to these people. Don't talk like an actor. Don't, like even when you're looking, you're smiling, you're like, it's true. It's so true, 100%. <laughs> like don't, even when you send to an agent or a manager, don't say, oh, I'm really good. You know how many people write that? What about if you, if you give them numbers, guys, give them numbers. Yeah. I booked 10 films since I moved here. I've, um, I've booked um, three nationals. Give them numbers. Don't, don't, don't be uh, like, I don't know, new agey about it.